Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another Police Academy LSPFR tutorial. Today guys I'm going to be showing you how to install player location display and clear the way V. This is going to add a little bit more realism to your game. Like I said guys, the further we get into these tutorials, the more realistic your game is going to become and the more I'm going to teach you how to be a realistic police officer in LSPFR. There is there's really no wrong way to do it. But if you're looking for the realism, guys, you're in the right place because I am all about realism. I am all about graphics. I am all about your game being as realistic as possible. So without further ado, let's get into this, guys, and click the links down there. Uh, the first link for player location display is going to bring you to this page right here, player location display. Now, what we're looking at here and the mod we're going to be installing is if you look right here on the screenshot, you will see that, um, oh, let me go back, let me go back. If you will look right here, guys, where my cursor is, it shows you what road you're on, what road you're crossing, uh, whether you're headed east, uh, west, south, or northbound, um, what 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 city you're in, and what you know part of the state that you're in, right there. Okay, so Metro Los Santos, Little So, we're in Metro Los Santos and Little So. Uh, so, with that being said, you just want to scroll down and you want to click uh, download this file right here, and then click Agree and Download. And then just put this somewhere where you know how to get to it, guys, okay? You will need something to unzip your files, uh, like 7-Zip or WinRAR. You can Google WinRAR, and it'll pop right up. And I have the tools on how to install WinRAR as well. Clear the way V is next. This mod, what it simply does is when you're running code 2 or code 3, the vehicles will move over out of the way for you a little better than what they do. Not, you know, not they're not, it's not great, but it does work a lot better. Uh, so we're going to scroll on down. And you want to click download this file right here and then click agree and download. Once you get these downloaded and put somewhere you know how to get to them, guys, I do recommend your desktop. Let's go ahead and access our GT5 main directory. Now, if you've been watching my tutorials, uh, then you'll know how to do this. If not, I recommend going back and watching my first tutorial on this on the base mods, okay? So we want to go to our file explorer and right click and then click on our GT5 main directory, okay? It's going to bring this up. This is going to be, and as you guys can see, this is the directory I've been working with you guys on. All right. So let's go ahead and open up our player location display, uh, WinRAR. And once you get that open, double click on installation files and then double click on the Grand Theft Auto 5 inside your WinRAR. And then you want to grab both of those files right there, the, pl the PLD.ASI and the PLD.INI. And you want to pull these into your main directory just like this. You want to drop them in, okay? Once you got it, go ahead and refresh your directory and close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. All right, next up is going to be Queer the Way V. Let's open that up. Now, Queer the Way V dot DLL, okay? This is going to go into our plugins folder. So we need to go to our main directory, all right, right here, and go over to our plugins folder right here. And you want to double click that, all right? And then you want to grab this clear the way v.dll in your WinRAR and you want to pull it over in your directory. At this point, you should be in Steam Maps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5 plugins, okay? You want to grab this clear the way v.dll, pull it into your plugins folder like this and drop it in. All right, and then just refresh it. Go back to your main game directory and refresh that. Close out of both of these, delete that shortcut. And I'm going to take you guys in a game and show you all exactly how these There's mods There's one work. more thing I need to tell you guys, and I always forget this step every time I show you guys how to install a plugin. Jeffrey Gamer and I were just talking about this the other day. How many times we've edited back in to show you guys this step. So, when you launch your Rage, because we did install a plugin, guys. If you go in your main directory and go to plugins, we installed that Queer the Way V.DLL. Anything that goes into this folder right here you will have to launch Rage this way. So let's close out of our directory. And when you launch Rage, you are going to immediately hold down the left shift key, okay? Until that box pops up. Okay, once your box pops up, if it's gonna pop up here, there it goes. Once it pops up here, guys, go to plugins and you will now notice you have Queer the Way V underneath LSPD first response. Go down and click on load these plugins on startup and then go over here and click check all, all right? Once they're both checked, go back up and click on load all plugins on startup, and you are now safe to launch the game. But every time you install a plugin that goes directly into your plugins folder, 
you need to open up your you need to launch your raid just like this and then make sure they're checked okay and then go ahead and click save and launch just like that and that's it guys we're going to go into game and i'm going to show you how these mods work so we'll see you all inside of lspufr all right ladies and gentlemen so once we're loaded into the game you're probably going to load in the game like this because we anytime Usually, anytime you install a plugin uh, like Quit the Wave V or anything, it goes into that particular plugins folder. You're going to spawn in the game like this. Um, so let's go ahead and hit F4 on our keyboard and type in F O R C E, and then hit the tab key and hit Enter. This is going to put us on duty. All right, and we are now on duty, guys. So let's go ahead and let's head out the door here. And I'm going to show you guys how these mods work. Uh, there's not too much to player location display and Queer the Way V. There's not too much to them at all. So I'm just going to go out here and um, I'm going to spawn the vehicle. I'm going go to gonna go to my simple trainer vehicle spawning emergency. And I'm going to get that one that says police cruiser. That's going to be our ELS vehicle. If you guys don't know how to do that, that means you haven't watched my first tour. You need to go back and watch that. All right. So. Player location display, guys. You can see it right there, right by your minimap. You will now see a player location display by your minimap that shows what street you're on and what cross street you're going across. So, for example, if I go across this street right here, okay, it's going to show that this is Occupation Avenue right here, okay? Let's go ahead and turn our lights on so people will stop. All right. Now, see how the traffic is stopping and kind of getting over for us? See that? See how I moved over? Now the trucks and buses, they will not move over for you. They will not move over no matter what, okay? But the cars and stuff, they will move over. Now the best place to test Clear the Way V um, is going to be on the interstate. So let me spawn out to the interstate here, and I will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let me spawn out here. And if you're running code 2... All right, so we're going to run code 2, and you're going to see these cars start moving over. Now, they're not all going to move over, so just be aware of that, okay? They're not going to move over immediately. You're going to have to, you know, you have to drive like a legit police officer. And see, like him right there? And some of them will just stop right in the middle of the road like real life idiots. You know what I mean? But if you'll notice, when I pull up here, see how the cars are kind of moving over? They're trying to get out of my way. That is clear the way V right there, guys. That's, that's clear the way V. Now, of course, we run code three. Same exact thing. Same exact thing, guys. So, again, the trucks are not going to get over. The cars will, but the trucks will not move. But that is pretty much it, guys, for player location display and clear the way of E. Yeah, we're in a bunch of traffic now. This would be perfect. But remember, you still have to drive, drive like a legit police officer. You can't fly and expect them to get out of your way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Cops, they don't even fly in real life. They speed up a little bit, but they don't like, you know, do, you know, 150 miles an hour to a car. You know what I'm saying? Because they got to get there safely as well. But when you're driving like a cop, that's how you do it. As you want, when you come up on traffic, you always want to slow down and kind of beep that horn. Right? And it gives them time to get out of the way. But a majority of these vehicles are moving over. Uh, but that is pretty much it for player location display and quit the way V guys and girls subscribe if you're new smash that like button for your boy click the bell and click all so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live as we do live stream five days a week here on the criminal justice channel and until next time ladies and gentlemen God bless take care stay in prayer love one another and peace out